Guys, we are finally on our way camping again and I think it's going to be for real this time. We got little Yuna here and little Mari. They're all raised in their beds. They're living the life. We are so excited to share this with you guys, this camping video. We really want this video to inspire you to do this yourself. Start like we started. A couple of nights in a full service campground and that, do that a couple of times and see where the road takes you because this is going to be our first true dispersed camping experience. We'll talk about that more. But we're also super stoked for this video because this video is sponsored by one of our favorite companies ever. Well, the squad's favorite companies ever. <laughs> Carlson Pet Products. We've been using their camping cots for at least about a year and a half now when we discovered that we really don't like the squad to be on the ground at camp they get dirty it's uncomfortable and it just doesn't provide that experience and we really care about the squad's experience so we've been carrying these Carlson pet product cots with us everywhere it's so awesome for indoors for outdoors for the patio for camp it's foldable and this time we have three beautiful colors and it's, it's so nice I like it more than the three colors that we had that one color that we had before the green now we have three really nice colors squad loves it it's perfect by the fire so we're really happy to be working with Carlson because we absolutely believe in their product we think that every dog parent out there that's traveling like we do or even if you do just camping entry stuff or if you're going to even a cabin it doesn't matter what this having this type of cot this type of experience for your dog just really changes the game and for us comfort for the squad is everything because they're so big they're, they're kind of long that the squad ends up cuddling together so very often you'll find two two puppers together on one bed curled up in little donuts and they just enjoy that i don't know why they do it because they have their own but sometimes they do that and they have the room to do it so that's really really nice so you'll see more of those cuts in this video you've seen them in the older videos you'll see them in the future videos we love these cuts definitely check those out guys if you are active and you do adventure type stuff with your pup it's amazing Mark doesn't know what to do with herself right now. She remembers we were here two days ago when we put down the dome. <laughs> and she's going from the window to the front. She's about to jump this girl. Here's the road to home, guys. Check it out. This purse camping is definitely another story. Zero amenities. Zero amenities. 100% beauty. That's what it's all about and privacy, squad time. Yeah, I, I think this is the most excited I've been going camping. <laughs> Hi, bummer! Look at them! Look at those happy babies! Look at those happy babies! They know. All right, guys, we are home. We have a very long driveway, which is so cool because it's so private and tucked away. We're here. Here's our intersection. But behind us is camp. Squad knows we're here for sure. They remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Titus, what is a buddy? Always 
take the puffs down now. Right. Being cautious for their legs. They're marking their territory right now. Titus. Titus, come here. You ready to see camp? Let's show you around our house. Here's our dome. Here's our dome right there. That is going to be a rain shelter and also an office because you can't work in harsh sunlight. And here is, not sure yet, there's a little room right there. And the squad is marking their territory everywhere. And here is a fire a, a fire pit and this is one of the things that you look for when you want to do dispersed camping. You want to look for a place that already has a fire pit because this way you're not, you know, taking out more natural elements. So it's best to pick a place that already has a fire ring. And this has obviously already been built a while ago and used. So this is our living room, dining room, everything by the fire. And that's our beautiful walls right there, the trees. <laughs> and there's a really nice view of the mountains back there. On the other side of this little hill. We're just gonna go hike over there and take it all in, huh? That's the plan. I love these bushes here. They're about five, five, six feet tall. I have to look up what their name is, but they're so, they're so beautiful. And they have these reddish brown branches really cool and here's our bedroom right where Yuna and Kimari are hanging out this is where the tent is going to be and beautiful clouds cotton candy clouds and these gorgeous bushes just go on forever back there forever <laughs> Check this out guys, the best setup ever. So we have JC and my bed over here with our pillows that we bring from home because we really like having our own pillows. Each squad member has their own bed. That's Kimari over there. That's Titus here. 
And you know over here, this is their beds from home. Usually fit in the car. And now it fits perfectly in the tent and here's our clothes. This is perfect for the five of us. Right, let's keep the flies out. It's beautiful. The view here is amazing. And here's the squad hanging out while we do everything to set up camp. You good boy, buddy. Like this. Are you a good boy, buddy? You good boy. You know you good girl mamas. We're just relaxing here on their cot. Chilling. Relaxing. Look at you, Mari, Mari Goo Goo. You sleepy, huh? Look at all the hard work you did to put up the tent, Mama Love. Hmm? <laughs> here we got our spots. JC. My spot. Fire is work in progress. Fire pit. JC's chopping some wood. Of course we brought our new Husky Squad mugs. You guys can get those adorable things on huskysquad.com. Got all the bubbers. Mari, Yuna, and Titus. All the pups. So we're gonna have tea to relax a little bit. Some tea some chocolate, hot water, perfect. Oh, look at the water is going. The fire is going. Wow, I didn't realize how loud that thing was. We got these cool little lights for the squad today, all different colors. Can't see it super bright yet because it's still bright outside, but this is to keep them safe just in case of anything. There's the light, I have to turn this around. But they all have their own color, so I know who they are if one of them went a little bit too far than the mental boundary we created. So this is a good, really good thing, really good tip for you guys. I mean, obviously it takes a lot of work to get to the point where you could do this. So I don't recommend this um, unless you really, really know that they are not gonna leave. And then we still to do precautions even even the fact that we know they're not gonna go anywhere. So, yeah. And I had no idea when we first started doing this that JC is like a, secretly a, a, an outdoorsman. Like I had no idea, but now he just chops wood, like tons of it so fast. It's, we can go live somewhere far away and we would be fine. There's something comforting about campground smoke. <laughs> Even that much smoke? Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, my face. Kimari found a new spot. She's waiting out the fire. Smoke. Yuna doesn't care. Yuna. Should I turn this around? Oh, you want more snacks? Is that why you're licking your lips? Hold on, my love. Hold on. We need a spoon. There's one in that red bag. Since we're super organized now. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, oh, this is perfect guys, right? Look, I turned it around. Doesn't this look so freaking cute besides it being very important to have? It looks so cute. You know, you, you glow with a little blue light. The only thing they care about is being <laughs> right next to us. Look how... Those, those lights. They're so fucking awesome. They look like the Power Rangers. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> <laughs> Husky Squad Power Rangers. It's so cute. I didn't know it was gonna be so cute. I was more thinking about the safety, that safety backup. And I was also thinking of knowing if I see a red light that it's Kimari, you know, like colors. Yeah. Just identify them better. Here's, here's some chocolate, JC. You want some? Thank you. My dirty fingers. Hey, we just began. <laughs> Wait till we see what dirty is. All right, guys, we're going to relax enjoy some downtime after this crazy day and crazy days of finding this campground this dispersed campground tomorrow we're just going to sleep in that's kind of became our rule with camping that the first day we just take it super easy we don't do a whole lot and then um 
the next morning we wake up like what at 10 <laughs> late yeah we wake up late the second day of camping it's it's a rule by now but it's a good rule it's just a, it's a nice feeling and just to take it all in before we start thinking of crazy hikes and all that stuff and and the funny thing is the squad is so chilled out at camp now they already know this routine they know what this is gonna be like and they're so happy to be here to spend time here the best feeling ever so day one is just super chill and the morning after yeah very relaxing too so freaking cute I was just telling JC that I feel like a lot of people don't know how much dogs and specifically high activity dogs like huskies, how much they enjoy that their energy is spent. Like they have had their energy, you know, used. They had a great vigorous stimulating hike and it was fun. Huskies and I think a lot of other dogs really just enjoy relaxing having not having the energy all pent up and then just doing this like this is the most relaxed we see the squad ever at camp they're like it's like a camp drug or something <laughs> it's really funny actually and, and amazing at the same time to watch them be like this they're like at peace see this is awesome Kimari's out there now I see Yuna out there, they're doing their business. But I know exactly where they are, and that's the reason for those lights. I can't lose them. This is like perfection. And then I know that she's the one that's coming back, even though it's dark. But yeah, we finally have really narrowed down what we like having at camp. Like none of the excess and all of the just, you know, right about right comfort. And it's amazing. I'll leave actually in the description of this video our entire camping setup. Um, what we have. And if you guys like this, this setup, then and you're inspired by it, you can definitely look what we use and create something of your own. This is this is an expression. The way we do our campgrounds is our expression and how we feel the area feels like and Every campsite that we do is different because it's the location that inspires us how to make a place look. You guys can do the same. Oh, what do you do? What do you guys have going on, huh? Hey, hey. Yuna, you wanna come hang out over here? Oh, not my tea. Yuna. Yuna likes coffee and tea. Why does she like coffee and tea? She's like, that's where the treats are at. That's where I'm going. All right, girl. You know, you're gonna have to go lay down if you want a treat. Just gotta be as close as possible. Close. Never far away from her daddy. Ever.
In a little bit, the squad is gonna get breakfast. I'm actually defrosting it. We'll do a separate video on how we feed the squad at the campground that we finally figured out. But this time we dispersed camping and it's so nice to be out here. We've always talked about dispersed camping, but we had no idea how to actually do this and where it's allowed, where it's legal to do it in the US. It's pretty much where you're going out in a place that it's allowed to disperse camp and you have no amenities, zero amenities, right? And you just make yourself a little place, a little campground. So all the luxuries of showers, toilets, water, f uh, pre-made fire rings, benches, chairs. <laughs> I'm so distracted by her, she's so cute. It's usually in national forest. Yeah, national forest or BLM yeah. land. And man, one thing I could say though, I don't think we could have done this without the, the camping cots that we brought with the squad, for the squad I should say. Cause you know, the dirt is just, the ground here is just full of rocks and it had rained here. So we learned early on when we started camping, even this before this first camping, we learned that we can't go without having good cots for the squad. Because yes, you know, some people were like, oh, they're just dogs, they can lay everywhere. But let me tell you, they have a preference laying on these clean, comfortable, um, you know, space without rocks and without dirt. And also, it, if you're camping for a long time, it makes for a, a cleaner experience. But yeah, back to the dispersed camping thing. Why we really wanted to do this is because we really enjoy solitude. We like solitude together, JC loves it, we, I like it, and the squad too, I mean, the peace and quiet here is amazing. There's just nothing, there's no one around us. We could do anything, you know, of course with respect in nature, but we could do anything. It's just that you have to be very cautious when you're doing this first camping because you don't want to disturb the environment. You want to find a place like we did, like I talked about when we arrived, that you want to find a place that already has a fire ring, you know, made from rocks or something that's there already. And this way you don't disturb nature more. And you want to be very cautious, not tear out any plants. You know, you have to bring in your own water, which we figured out how to do. You have to bring in, you have to find your own place where you can go to the restroom and do those things. So those are the elements that you learn with this first camping that's different than camping at a campground, but <laughs> there's nothing like it really. It's, it's amazing. You'll likely need a car that can handle it, a four by four and have somewhat of a decent clearance that you can get through, you know, roads that are not maintained. That's another thing. The roads are not maintained like going to regular campgrounds. But I would say start with start with a regular campground first, right, JC? I think that's like the best thing to do, regular camping. And then once you're once you know how to handle your hygiene and you know how to handle water and all these different things, that's when you can start to be more primitive, like we did in Skull Rock, mm -hmm. uh, where you have to bring in your own water. Just take those steps. But honestly, after being here, even just for a little bit it'll be hard to go back to a regular campground, I think. It's just ultimate peace. But last night, guys, there were coyotes. They were just calling to each other from different parts of the forest. There were, it seemed like there was a pack here and a pack there talking. And then in the end, there was just one last coyote just cackling. Is that the sound? Let's have to say cackle, I think. They were cackling for that one coyote for quite some time, for a good 15, 20 minutes. And it was, I think if it was two years ago, it would probably scare me a little bit, but no. It was really nice. Like, it was a soundtrack to going to sleep. Squad was super interested, like, what is that? <laughs> it's really, really nice. Monarch butterflies passed by early this morning. Just hundreds of them hundreds of migrating probably 
you've seen all kinds of birds we've had we've had like a woodpecker making its ruckus in the morning <laughs> it's it's amazing in a little bit I'll show you guys what we do with the water and everything that we have here is very simple basic but like the comforts there's certain comforts that yeah like the squad having their bed that's a comfort that will not give up and having this little table all these different things that you can find on our on our website and i'll link that in the description here too but if you if you do a nice setup there's nothing like it this first camping just make sure when you leave that you take everything with you everything so we were scouting for a campground with the squad for days and then we found this one we found this this beautiful place and the lucky part is is that we're only about 12 minutes away from town a little town called sisters so freaking beautiful here it usually gets really busy in the summer we heard but we don't come here in the summer because it would be too hot it's my favorite little town i know jc wants to convince me to move to sisters so yeah, I think for, for us this being our first this first camping trip, it was important for us not to be super super far for amenities, especially because we wanted we want to eat fresh food. I really didn't want to do the package stuff and it doesn't make us feel that great. So we wanted to be nearby fresh food and luckily there is a local incredible incredible um spot to eat called the Sister Smokehouse, I think. If you guys come by here, that place is heaven. But we've pretty much been eating all their grass fed and actually hunter meat too. Just different local meats, healthy. And that's been really nice. And we have water not too far, so we just go to town and fill up. We drive out of the national forest. But I think this is a really good way. Really, Kimari? You just want cuddles, huh? Look at this. See, she wouldn't do this on the dirt. Look at this cuddles over here. Oh, mama. You want cuddles in the sunshine? You are so cute, baby. There's also a creek nearby if we need emergency water. Right? For emergency water, yeah. You just have to go down that that side of the campground. Oh, yeah, we saw it from the hiking trail. It was a pretty crazy drop. Yeah. It's... With almost volcanic like rocks. Yeah, it's kind of a cliff. Yeah. You'd probably climb down the rocks too. Mm hmm I'm not sure if the pups can handle it though. Well, I wouldn't. Unless I wouldn't do a Titus right now. Yeah, and even it was. It's pretty steep actually. See, huskies usually don't love the sun, but when it's cold outside, and sometimes just in general, like Yuna likes tanning. Kimari too. They like tanning. But it was a cold morning, and the sun feels so good right now. Right, buddy. Even our bear likes it right now with his little thick, with his little coat. She purring? Yeah, she's purring. <laughs> My she purr, purr. Kimari is part cat. She part cat, huh? And you know what else we really love about camping, and now even more so with this first camping. I don't know why it's just it feels so different. And we grill the meats on the fire and we share with the squad. It almost feels like part ancestral like what our ancestors used to do with their with their dogs and when that whole wolf dog transition happened and you know when when animals were wilder it's just it feels so good doing this with them except they're ultra domesticated but also finding ways to simplify things you know we haven't used a pot that we brought once not once we've been doing skewers and that griller for the meat this thing here has been serving us as a as a water cooker even though it's supposed to be a coffee percolator but it's just a water cooker and it's we also make water for tea and we boil our hard-boiled eggs in here so it's like three in one but you know there's certain comforts we we won't give up like having our mugs with our coffee every day squat to be comfortable our food having these cots that jc and i like these chairs that we're using the coolest thing that happened here too is that we launched huskysquad.com from this campground the upgrade the new logo with all the new stuff because we have a tiny bit of service so we're able to do some things 
but this the revamp of Husky Squad is born here, which is a really nice place. But it is our it is our longest, and we've been doing just fine. You learn to use a lot less water. Um, you learn how to keep yourself clean. And dry shampoo is really cool, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, tip for you guys too that if you're starting out dispersed camping for the first time and the season is not super hot yet you can do what we do is we just get a day pass at a swimming pool and we go shower city pool a city pool city recreational yeah facility. there's so many out there and here the, the one that we go to is in bend it's only about i think about 40 minute drive and we go in in town anyways to get frozen patties for the squad that they're about to have for breakfast thank goodness they don't know the word patties because they'll be really excited right now <laughs> we have one day of rain predicted in 10 days we divided our our dome our rain dome with the tent sometimes we set it up together where the dome and the tent is like an extension it becomes a mini house where half of the, the half of the tent is underneath the dome. We did that in, in Crescent Lake in another video we have here on our channel. But this time we knew that we can separate them so we have the tent independently and this is like a, a, a shelter from just the elements, you know, we could work there, the sun is not as harsh, we could do different things there. The wind. And the wind too, because it does, it does get windy here sometimes. Does that mean it's breakfast time, my love? Huh? You know? You guys are gonna get breakfast next. Patties have been defrosting. So cool, I love having these frozen patties. And a little cooler for the squad. And being close to town, it's just every couple of days we can go get more. Had them defrost on the dashboard with their sun. Alright, cut them in a few little pieces here, smaller pieces. Kima, are you licking your lips, mamas? Are you licking your lips? I love having these patties ready to go at the campground. Especially when you're camping for a long time, you want to make sure that your pup gets the, the nutrition met, right? Not just feeding anything. They do get lots of different treat meals, like steak at the at the campground they get sometimes cheese they get different treats for sure but they also need to have their nutritious meals in such a good way to feed them so i'm feeding them a lighter meal because in about an hour we're gonna go hiking we'll have to wait at least an hour after they ate before we can go hiking because it's not healthy for a dog to eat to work out right after eating. I mean, imagine going swimming or... Did you catch a fly? Imagine going swimming with a full stomach or going to the gym with a full stomach. You would not feel good. For dogs, it's the same, except it could be even worse because I was reading about dogs getting bloat. They can get... And bloat can be fatal, so you have to be very careful with that. Give them the time before they start eating. All right, we mashed this up a little bit. It's not frozen anymore. Stay babies. Tyus, you're so lazy. He also has more food, but he's still eating really slow in comparison. Kimari, there's no more. Mushies, mushies, there's no more. And later we're gonna have a big dinner, okay? Mm. A big dinner. Don't wanna stuff you too much before hiking. Hey, mamas. Was that a good breakfast, baby? You guys want to see how we do dishes at camp? It's actually a really efficient system. Tyus is like, is there anything left? I used to have this whole sink thing at camp, which actually is a really cool product when you are doing regular camping, not the spurs, but when you're doing the spurs, you want to be careful with the water. But all I have is just this independent little bag with the concentrated soap and a little brush. So I'll just... This is really concentrated guys, so don't put too much. I just put a little bit in each bowl and then a little bit in each cup. That's the first thing. It makes life easier. 
we're making sure only to use this broken branch. It has a little one growing, but we're not messing with it. What you don't want to do is you don't want to hang it on something that's like this, right? Because you can damage the, the young tree. So your best bet is finding something like, see, this is solid. You can't even move it. And we just use a carabiner for it. And when we wash the dishes here, then the water goes, goes right back to that tree. So you're not just spilling the water everywhere. You're using that water for a purpose and the tree gets it back. And there's also a little bit of ashes from the wood that we burn at the, at the camp right here. The ashes also gives back to nature. So it just hangs here and it makes it so much easier if it hangs instead of having to lift it up every time, right? So the easiest thing, you just release it, put a little bit of water, right? Not too much. Because when you're at camp, every drop of water is important. So I'll just put a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing for these cups. That's the easiest part. So I'll start off with the uh, with the mugs because they don't have meat on them. So you can just take the little brush, scrub the bottom, scrub the sides. Sometimes I'll use it with my hands too, but these this soap is actually so good and concentrated that it will get really nice and clean. And then just fill the water right by the tree. And the soap we use is actually biodegradable soap. It's specially designed for this type of thing where it doesn't harm the environment or plants, anything, wildlife. So you want to be very cautious with that. Definitely be mindful of those things, right? So this is the second round of soaping. And why not take advantage of that and use it into, you can use that same soapy water into the bowls here. I'm actually going to take a little bit more. And this is what I do with mugs. Just swish it from one to another. I can get the rest of it with my fingers if I see anything left. I can use this water too. There's a little bit left that I want to wash. But yeah, this is as clean as it's going to get at camp. We've had this cube beer hanging for about three days now. And we haven't even used it up because we're being so cautious with the water. We don't use too much of it. It makes it easier. You don't have to go get water all the time in town. So all this water that I use to wash the mugs, I'm just repurposing it. They're bowls. And the scrubber really helps. There you go, swirl the water, I'm getting back to the tree. I usually just do this about twice. And we should be good and then I just let the sun dry the bowls and do, the, do its magic.
How did you know that? <laughs> That's a nice log right there. All right, let me go get some more. So cute. You know you're relaxing, mamas? Are you relaxing, my love? Hmm? I see you relaxing, my love, you good girl. Let's go see what daddy's up to. I wish I can cut this big one. My axe is not big enough, but huh? It's gonna take me all day. Those two. You're just being cute, huh? Oh, I'm dead. Kim, are so you cute? cute? You're just laying there looking pretty while we work our asses off. Good girl. You want cider? Titus, put my eye on my body. Mm -hmm. My body. I love you, body. Oh, you want cuddles? I'll give you cuddles, body. Baby love, are you sleepy head? Who's mm. my sleepy head? Who's a baby dear? Who's a baby dear? Young? <laughs> so cute. Grab this stuff. Come, oh, baby. Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. Come on.
Mari, come here. Come on. Mari. Yuna. They're so cute. They're so happy. They love this. Mari. So I'm putting the needles first. And then I'm trying to put some smaller sticks. And they feel pretty dry, so it hasn't rained in a while. So I think it's going to start pretty quick. I also put some cones in there. Which should make it smell pretty good. And then, to look for the semi... Semi medium... Medium large sticks. Like these two. And I think I think that should be good enough for now and then I'll start putting some bigger sticks and then those logs. This is a camp drunk puppy. And they've been stimulated the whole day and had so much fun hiking and playing. They just relax and watch us do all the hard work. JC's building the fire far away. Well, not too far, but far enough from the smoke. So I think we may hang out here closer to, to the tent tonight. So they don't get much smoke. They're about to light it up? Yep. So all this is local here from the forest. See that smoke? Yeah, the wood's pretty dry, so it's gonna be a good fire today. Maybe a little less smoke. Looks like a shish kebab. Yeah. I forgot about that. Got some shish kebab. Look at that fire, guys. I told you, Jason makes the best fires. It took nothing. See, and the squad is protected from the fire right now, from the smoke. They really don't like the smoke, so we respect them to be away, respect that to be away from the smoke. So we just get nice burning wood. Wow. Yeah, you want to go in there? Oops. Are, are your hands like fireproof? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. It's only too far away. <laughs> I know. I'm keeping you out of the smoke. There she comes. Hey, bud. You know you too. Hi, love. Hey, sunshine. Come here. This is like fire. You know. Where's my little Rupert?
Titus, that's Kimari, and that's Yuna. Okay. I'll give Titus his. Whoa, it's heavy. That's a lot of food. Next round dinner too for them is gonna be some shish kebab. Let's see how they react to shish kebab. But they're only getting it for a treat. They're not getting a lot of it. My baby! You want shish kebab? What's in here, guys? Huh? What's in here? What's in here? What's in here, babies? <laughs> what is it? <coughs> yeah? We know where to go. Where are we gonna go? Oh. Yeah, it's steak. You want steak? All right, Titus. Titus. Oh. Oh. What a good girl. What are we gonna do if we want if we want goodies? What are we going to do, huh? Steak is in here, but I know there's something special in here too. Yeah. What are we gonna do about that? What are we gonna do about that? No. You lay down? down? What a good girl, Titus. Titus, what about you? You gonna lay down? Tell me all about it, Mama. Oh, good babies. All right, kids. What a good girl you are. Oh, you are such a good girl. You're a good boy, buddy. Oh. They're good bell peppers, actually. Wow. Good. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. <laughs> Squad can't wait for their steak. You guys want steak, babies? Right, the no dishes method. I love that. Squat is getting no seasonings. They're in the middle, plus not too much of it. on the fire. Squad is happy. It's nice and warm. While well, the fire is keeping us warm. It looks like it's going to be a good dinner. First? No, it has to cool down a little bit. Yeah, it needs to cool down a little bit. Oh. Scott, are you going to get some of this, guys? Some this is so good. Put mine down here. Mm. This is for the squad. I'm gonna cook this one a bit more. Just a little bit. 
Mmm. You guys want some steak, babies? Hold on. So delicious, huh? Daddy makes the best steak. Mmm. You want steak, babies? Let's check temperature. It's looking good. My buddy. Oh. That was worth waiting for, huh? Was that worth waiting for, you know? <laughs> She's she got that dreamy steak face. <laughs> How's my love? Oh, my baby, you have a drool beard. Just relaxing and having some steak. Life is not that bad, huh? Oh, what a good boy, buddy. Oh, you good girl, you know. They love steak. Is it good steak, mommy? You want steak, mama? I love teaching them new words. Now they know the word steak. You know the word deer. We know some really cool words, huh? Life is good at camp. All right. This is like the best to be able to share food with your papa at the campground. Isn't that awesome? They're so fixated on the, on I the know. steak, huh? They actually already had their real dinner earlier, as you guys saw. But... Mmm! You're amazing on the fire. What the heck? <laughs> They're so cute. They really like this. Of course they like it. Of course, it's meat. <laughs> but it's like meat with like even more fun, right? They're so happy. <laughs> so cute. Yun is giving you all the eyes. <laughs> Look at this. Plates. Steak, yummy steak, huh? Good babies. All right, lick my hands, please. <laughs> Ice queen goes. Hmm? Where's the ice queen? There we go. I think Eunice has turned the wrong way. Let me make sure that it gets the most light possible. There you go, ice queen. Good girl. All right, buddy. The mellow green. Now we know when you guys go around do your business around camp at night, huh? Oh, that was a nice night, huh, babies? You guys are probably going to get cold. 
I'll let you go to bed. Especially you with Mr. No Winter Coat, I know. He's a naked husky. Huh? Good babies. All right. Wanna have the rest? Hmm? You wanna have hours now? Yeah. All right. Let's have hours. I think they're like in a complete trance from having this food. <laughs> Baby, you want to come tinkle? Come, baby. Come tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle. Machi. All right, come here. Mari, come here. Head of tinkle, tinkle. Good girl, Yuna. Good girl, Yuna, huh? Tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle. There's a little fireball. Ice cream is getting some water. Good girl. Titus, you good boy, buddy. Good boy. Who wants to go to bed? You want to go to bed, buddy? You want water? Go get water, buddy. You want, you want water? Why? Nice. You little boy, baby. You know. You know you want to go to bed, my love? She's like, let me go scour for some meat pieces. <laughs> they both went back to camp to check on some meat pieces. That's so funny. Hey, you want to go to bed, buddy? Oh, yeah, you want to go to bed, buddy, huh? You want to go to bed, buddy? <laughs> Titus, you want to go to bed? You love your cozy bed. <laughs> he just pushed it. You want to go to bed too, huh? <laughs> Titus, he's treating me like a push push toy. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh, I know. Come here, babies. You want to go to bed? You want to go to bed? Where's Kimari? Kimari still. Cheese particles. There you go. You wanna go bed? Titus, go bed, baby. Go bed, baby. What a good boy. Go, go get it. Come to mine. Come on, you want bed? Come here, little fireball. Is Titus making bread? Yeah. Titus, Mari, come here. Mari, go to bed, my love. Go to bed. Oh, you're such a good girl. Go. Mari, here, go to bed. Titus is so busy. <laughs> That's a good girl. Yeah, she just had to confirm. <laughs> Titus is like, don't interrupt my cleaning session. Oh, good babies. We'll be back in a little bit, okay? Just clean up camp. And we'll come to bed. <laughs> Let's go clean up. Hey, we have nothing to clean up. <laughs> That's the whole... Okay, how about we just enjoy some cider, the leftover cider, what do you think? It's a good idea. I think Titus is making bread in there. <laughs> He's so funny.